Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are going to be comparing the paper filter to the metal filter. These are made for Chemex, but the general information here can be used for any brewing method that uses filters. We will talk about some of their differences and then I will make some coffee, taste them side by side, and see which one I like the best. Now, a crucial part in understanding the differences between these filters is knowing that it's not necessarily the material that affects the taste. It's not the paper or the metal, it's actually the pore size of that material that affects the texture and the taste of your coffee. And if we look here at a zoomed in picture of a paper filter next to a metal filter, you will quickly see that they are quite different. Especially for the Chemex, these two filters are going to produce very different cups. With a smaller pore size, it means that less oils and less particles of ground coffee are going to get into your final cup. With a larger pore size, it means that more particles of coffee and more oils are going to get into your cup. But what do I mean by particles? When I say this, I'm mostly referring to what are called fines, and these are really important to understand. Fines are very small particles of ground coffee. And by a lot of researchers' definitions, they are particles so small that they have no intact cells. They are actually fragments of the cell walls. And no matter how well you grind your coffee, you will always have fines. Even with an expensive grinder and sharp burrs, these factors can lessen the amount of fines that you have, but they'll never get rid of them entirely. So coming back to the filters, when you have a larger pore size, it means that more of these fines are going to get through. When you have a smaller pore size, it means that less of them are getting through. This is important because fines add a lot of texture and mouthfeel to a coffee, and so do oils. But this does come at a cost, because when enough fines are present, they tend to muddy a cup of coffee. This might be a term that you've heard of, uh, people talking about muddy and clean cups of coffee, and both of these are usually in reference to flavor clarity. When you have a muddy cup of coffee, it means that you have less flavor clarity. Typically that means that you can taste a coffee and know that it tastes acidic or sweet, but you can't quite put your finger on what the taste is like. When you have a cleaner cup of coffee, you tend to have a very high level of flavor clarity. This means that you taste the coffee, and not only can you tell that it's acidic, but you can tell that it is a blueberry acidity or a chocolate sweetness. And this is why I say that there's a compromise, because with a larger pore size and more fines, you do get a thicker, juicier texture, but you don't necessarily get a better flavor clarity. With a smaller pore size, you have less fines getting through, which means not as much texture, but a higher flavor clarity. So what it really comes down to when you're deciding is what kind of coffee you want to drink. Do you want something that is a heavier and more juicy cup, or do you want something that is a little cleaner and more flavorful? You could also get both, as I do think that they produce good coffee just in their own way. One thing I should mention as well is if you have one and are thinking of getting the other, expect to grind a little bit differently. For instance, if you have the paper and want to buy the metal, you should expect to grind a little bit finer. With a larger pore size, it means that the water is going to draw down quicker than it would with paper. That means that the grounds of coffee are going to have less contact time with the water so you're going to need to adjust for that by grinding finer to make sure that they are extracting the same as your paper filters. So to taste the differences myself, I went ahead and brewed a cup of coffee on both filters. I don't know if you can see this in the video, but just look at how thick and dark that color is. And this is from the metal filter. I just had to take a little shot of that, but let's get to the tasting. So I've got my two coffees here. We have the paper filter. Uh, and in this one we have the metal filter. I'm going to use my spoon here to slurp the coffee and aspirate it into my mouth. Uh, it's just a, um, a technique that cuppers use to analyze the taste of coffee. So let's see how they taste. Give it a second go. It's a nice uh, clean cup of coffee. I got some cherries, some fruits, um, some sweetness in there, it's nice, it's a medium roast. Now this one, I can certainly tell that there's a thicker texture. It's actually really quite pleasant. The The texture and, and the thickness kind of emphasizes the, the chocolatey sweet notes. 
which is kind of cool, but certainly the paper filters have provided a little bit more, um, more clean acidity. Just to get a real sense of the mouthfeel, sometimes I leave the spoon and I just give it a sip from the cup. I, I find that if I take a bigger sip uh, straight from the cup, I can usually get a better sense of the texture. Yeah, that's the that paper filter is definitely much cleaner. I don't know what other word to give it, but it's much, much less oily, much less thick and, and, and sort of grainy. Let's try this one. Yeah, cert certainly a bolder cup. Um, it almost has a slight bitterness to it, which could be because of the fines that are left in the cup, but it also could be my grind, so it, it, it might have been uh, on me. Honestly, overall, I think that I could really enjoy both. Um, I don't think that they are, are worse or better than each other, I just think they're different. They were still both quite balanced, um, very flavorful, but I think if I, if I had to choose, I would probably stick with the paper filter. I value tasting the acidity in coffee, and I think that that comes through a lot more clearly. Overall, yeah, both, both nice cups of coffee. So that's all for me. I would love to hear your experiences with different filters. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider subscribing as I release weekly content, and I hope I'll see you next week. Have a great day.